starting on your Google Classroom with your Combined Science page. Let's go to Classwork and let's take a look at Unit 1, Cells and Organisms. We're going to start some biology. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch this video in Khan Academy on cells and organisms. The next thing you're going to do is take a look at this article, Cells and Organisms. Here are the key points. Living things are called organisms. All organisms are made up of cells. Cells are the smallest unit that can carry out all the functions of life. These functions include taking up nutrients in water, getting rid of waste, getting and using energy, and interacting with the environment. Unicellular organisms are made up of one cell. Unicell multicellular organisms are made up of many cells. Cells in multicellular organisms are all often specialized to carry out specific functions. Hence, hence, those are some of your questions. All cells come from other cells. New cells are made through the process called cell division. During cell division, one cell grows and splits into two. Cells are typically too small to be seen by the naked, naked eye, so people often view cells through a microscope. That's why we had the microscope lesson first. And here's a picture of plant cells viewed under a microscope. Pretty cool, huh? And then you have your questions. You're going to have four questions. Here we go. That's your third tab in your Google Classroom. It's this one right here. And this is what you're going to take a screenshot of and save. Which two of the following are true about cells? So what are we looking for? Two answers, not just one. Cells of unicellular organisms come from other cells, but cells in multicellular organisms do not. Cells come from other cells through the process of cell division. Existing cells are required for new cells to form. Now please make sure you've watched your video because if you do, you'll realize, oh, these are the two correct answers. Now what if I get an answer wrong? That's okay, you just keep trying. Which is the smallest unit that can carry out the functions of life? Choose the phrase that best completes the sentence. All organisms are made up of one or more cells because some are just single cell organisms, remember? Which of the following is made up of cells? Now, cells only happen in what? What is biology? Biology is the study of living things. So which of these is living? Is a diamond ring living? No, I don't think so. Is a metal paper clip living? No, I don't think so. How about a tree growing in a park? I do think so. Ta-da! And this is where you take your screenshot and attach it. And please notice as you're going through your lessons how much mastery you've got. Because just with one lesson, wow, we've already got 8% mastery. And you'll see we have <clears throat> 10 units. And we're going to be doing that this semester. So, hooray, take your screenshot. Don't click on something like I just did and lose it. But if you do, you can always take this screenshot because, oh, look. It shows your mastery and it shows what you've finished in unit one. Okay, super. And don't forget to attach. Thank you.